Did you know that helium was first found in the sun years before it was found on the earth? More surprising, it was 1868, nearly a hundred years before any kind of space flight. This same technique that was used to find helium in the sun and eventually on the earth is now used for forensic analysis, drug testing, fossil dating, and searching for life on distant planets. The same technique, according to a 2012 paper in the U.S. National Library of Medicine, can diagnose around 50 diseases and abnormalities in a newborn child from a single blood spot. Now, this amazing and versatile technique is called spectrometry. Allow me first to demystify this scientific word. You may have heard of Durham Tech's LGBTQ student organization called SPECTRUM. And that's an acronym that recalls the rainbow colors in the pride flag and the many orientations and identities in our student body and in humanity. If you know where somebody is on that spectrum, you know important information about them. And the same is true for matter and the spectrum of light. Light carries information about where it comes from, whether in a petri dish, in a, under a microscope in a laboratory or a galaxy far away. Every element on the periodic table of elements emits, absorbs, and reflects light in very specific parts of the spectrum. Now, at its heart, spectrometry is simple. If you've ever used a prism to make a rainbow out of sunlight, you've done what scientists do to decode the message that light brings. In the 1800s, with the invention of spectroscopes and spectrometers, researchers were able to spread that light out even farther and discovered these bright and dark lines in the spectra produced by firelight, sunlight, and other energetic phenomena. They soon realized each material left a unique fingerprint of bright and dark lines. So, in 1868, when Pierre Janssen and Joseph Norman Locklear independently observed a line in the sun spectrum that didn't match the wavelength of any known element, they reported they had discovered a new element. Now, while their colleagues were initially doubtful that new elements could be found that way, eventually helium, named after the Greek god of the sun, Helios, was found on the earth, and Janssen and Locklear were credited with the discovery. With the advent of quantum mechanics in the 20th century, scientists began understanding how electrons and photons interact to create these spectral lines. Now, this new understanding led to many new uses for spectrometry, including life-saving technologies such as MRI machines. Just as the diversity of humanity makes our lives more colorful, the diversity of elements in the universe creates endless variety, including life itself. And spectrometry has given us new ways to understand and harness that variety for the benefit of humanity. It touches nearly every aspect of our modern lives, whether you use spectrometry in your career, uh, depend on it for your healthcare needs, or enjoy the simple delight of a helium balloon.